Hi, Chad Newhook, Head of Athletic Therapy for St. Mary's University. Today I just want to demonstrate a few simple shoulder exercises you can do to uh, improve your shoulder health. So any athlete who's training or uh, competing can do these for shoulder health. Okay? If when you're doing them you have shoulder pain, you should get your shoulder assessed. Okay? These are just for relatively healthy athlete who wants to have healthier shoulders. Uh, the first exercise is band pull-aparts. Basically you grab any band, it doesn't have to be a strong band. Hold it around the middle. You want to set your shoulder first. So setting your shoulder isn't pulling your shoulder back. Setting your shoulder is locking your shoulder into the proper position in the joint. It's more like you're trying to prevent someone from tracking your shoulder. You're just locking your shoulder in. Okay? So just show from the front. Lock your shoulder. Very simple. Very simple. So just show you from the back. Lock your shoulder. So you do about at least 100 of those, so three sets of 30, and you can do them before your workout, during your workout, after your workout, doesn't matter. They're called band pull aparts, number one. Number two, very similar one called face pulls. It's working a little bit of a different set of muscles in your back. The first one was more your rhomboids, and the exercise that, the uh, muscles that control your scapula in the middle of your back, these are more for ones that are a little lower than that. So loop your band around something higher, and run face level, I'm grabbing it with my thumbs towards my face, set my shoulder, and I'm pulling my hands back past my face. My elbows are high and I'm squeezing with my mid-back. I'm not pulling with my rear delts. Pause for a second the contraction. Face pulls. Again, same rules, high reps, low weight. Exercise three, scap raises. This is a very simple dumbbell exercise. You use light dumbbells that can train your whole rotator cuff. Your rotator cuff basically functions to stabilize your shoulder while you're doing movements. So when you're doing all these exercises, you're not really strengthening your rotator cuff. Your rotator cuff is strengthened by preventing shoulder movement, okay? So very simple exercise. Again, set shoulder. I'm gonna lift the dumbbells in the plane of my scapula. So it's not to the side, it's not in front. It's along the plane of my scapula. Shoulder height only. I'm not letting my shoulders stay forward. I'm not pulling them all the way back. I'm just set. Light dumbbells, sets of 10. The final thing is more of a stretch. In the back of our shoulder, we have a ligament um, that is often tight in athletes, especially overhead throwing athletes, but all athletes, because athletes tend to be um, more muscular in the front of their bodies. It's called the posterior ligament. The stretch is called the sleeper stretch. Along your side, I just have the bolster here, the, uh, the foam roller here, just to keep my neck in neutral. I pin my scapula under my body. So I'm not doing this, and it's not back. I just pin it, raise my elbow to 90 degrees, straight out. Gently push down on my head. Hold for 30 seconds, repeat three times.